Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, got my makeup done already. Um, if you guys want to see this look, I believe um, this was my, like, I don't know what I'm going to name it yet. It was just a very pretty, um, like, light fairy look using um, the Huda Beauty neon lights. That one should have, or neon lights, neon eyeshadow palettes. Um, that one should already be up. Um, just check my channel um, if you want to recreate this look that I have on right now. And then um, I just added some Ciate glitter um, to kind of do the liner thing that I have going on. I think it looks really pretty. <laughs> it's something really different. Um, if you've been following my channel, you know I just love my browns. So, that being said, this video is completely the other way. Um, I'm going to be showing you my favorite like springtime palettes, my uh, springtime, summertime um, eyeshadow palettes um, for once. We get released from this, um, you know, bands quarantine that's going on in the country, and you know you can go flaunt your more summery, um, springy looks. So, that being said, um, I think we're just gonna take turns, kind of, you know, one drugstore, one high end, and so that sort of thing. I think I have more, um, more of a um, high end variety, but um, more options in within the same brands. Um, I don't have as many brands as I have a high-end one, but I do have a lot of palettes to um, kind of mention today. Starting out with the drugstore, um, these little elf bite-sized pieces, or uh, bite-sized eyeshadow palettes. Um, these, this one is the Berry Bad, very pretty like pink rose gold shade, and then this one is a rose water, which is a more of a mauvey purple. I have not used these, but I have used other ones, and these colors, I picked them up, you know, because they kind of, like, scream spring and summer, so that's why I picked these up, but um, I already know Elf's uh, formula in these is really, really good. I do suggest you guys picking these up in whatever um, color scheme you guys like. Um, these are really, really good, and I'm super excited to bring these out in the upcoming months. Next, a high-end, <laughs> this little NARS. A nectar palette. It's a very nice peach palette if you're gonna... Um, this one could kind of go in for fall as well, but it's a, it's a warmer uh, peach palette. Um, it's not as brown as other peach palettes. Um, this one just, when I wear it, it's a very nice little warm peach spring summer look. Yeah, it's kind of you're really limited on the colors, but it's so easy to use, and I do love this one in the spring and summertime, so I thought I should mention that. Now, I have an assortment of Wet n Wild palettes, the first one being the uh, VI Purple palette. This one is actually a dupe for one of the um, Natasha Denona Lila palettes, which I think is really, really neat that they did that. Yeah, so this is a very nice, um, I kind of like these because it has the bright purples and you know, your more neutrals right here, but it also has, you know, like your smoky shades when you go to, like from day to night, you know, so I do really, really like that, but I think these brighter shades are way more for more spring and summer shades, of course. Next in the Wet n Wild, they have this Rose in the Air, which, you know, is a good dupe for the, uh, um, ABH Modern Renaissance palette, you guys already know. These warmer, pinkier shades are really, really great in the spring and summer as well. Um, yes, Rose in the Air was that one. Lastly, they have this Not a Basic Peach palette. Again, the peaches, and even though that pop of blue, and these golds, and these um, the salmon right here, those kind of rich, orangey, copper shade. They're just absolutely beautiful shades for the summertime. Um, and these palettes perform really, really well, and they're really, really affordable, so I had to mention them. And they have, you know, they have even more palettes than those, but um, these, I thought these were the best colors for the spring and summertime. So moving on, I also have an assortment of the high ends. Um, the Neon by, or, the Neon Orange by Huda Beauty. These are really, really nice as well for the springtime, spring and summertime. Just look at those beautiful colors. Um, I love her formula. Um, I just got into her formula and I think it's really, really great. It's really pigmented and super easy to use. Um, just absolutely go gorgeous color schemes and stuff like that. Just absolutely gorgeous. The shimmers are beautiful. They're very, um, they're not as metallic and glittery as I would hope, 
but they still look really, really beautiful and they're effortless, effortless and blend out really nicely, but I think it's worth the work. And of course, the neon pink one, this is the one that I use to get the look that I have on my eyes right now, actually. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't even look like I've used it, but I have. It's beautiful. I just love all these shades. They're just very easy for spring and summer um, if you're into these more neon bright colors. And again, I use a little bit of this one to also get the look I'm wearing right now. Just a couple of them, but yeah, this is very, very beautiful. I love this palette for the for the shimmers, really. Um, I'm not sure I would ever use that green, but uh, that pink I do. Um, this and all the shimmers are absolutely gorgeous. I, um, if you're into greens, this would be a good palette, even though there's only like like two green shades. This white one is a green shift. Um, it is a duochrome-ish. Um, it's a white with a green blue kind of shift to it. So those are really, really good options for spring and summer as well. Now, affordable. So um, peach again. <laughs> I'm a peachy girl, that's just what I lean towards in the spring and summer time. So this is a ColourPop palette, you know, this is my OG favorite ColourPop palette ever of all time. Um, it's my favorite springtime, summertime, fall time, when I want to feel a little bit brighter and a little bit warmer. Um, I'll use that one all year long, but I really, really think it's really beautiful for this time of year. Um, so yeah, I love this palette. Um, and I just use the protector on there just because the glitter is so messy. So I just left the protector in there. But it does come with a mirror, which is nice. Another ColourPop palette is this Sweet Talk palette. Um, yeah, this is also in a more like salmon-y, peachy, you know, with some glitters and some browns. You know, this is a really nice, versatile palette for spring and summer. Just beautiful shades. I know they're really similar, but this one does have a nice mustard shade, which is really nice during this time of year as well. Any kind of mustardy with some browns, you know, um, just absolutely gorgeous. You know, mustard goes really nice with those kind of crocheted beige tops and stuff like that. Just simple, just in the crease with some liner and mascara. That's your look and it's perfect. A really good dupe, or I mean that palette, the, the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette is a really good dupe for the Sigma Cora de Rosa, which I talked about in a different video as well. Um, I did kind of battle the palettes and um, they are really good dupes for each other, you know, minus the few shades that this one doesn't have or that the ColourPop one doesn't have that this one does, but minus those few shades, this is a really good spot on dupe or that one's a really good spot on dupe for this one because this one is the expensive one. But I do really love the color scheme in this one. The color story is absolutely gorgeous. Absolute beautiful palette for spring and summertime. Just be, oh gosh, it's so beautiful. I mean, I think the only thing I have to say about these palettes is that they're beautiful, but they are beautiful. Um, like those purples and the pinks and the, or I guess I wouldn't say it's purple. It's more of like a wine, um, magenta sort of uh, hybrid. Um, these more peachy oranges and the more salmon pink over here with your neutral browns and you know, it's just, you know, your gold neutrals, um, you know, you have everything you need for a nice, pretty, summery, spring look. It's just, but you know, if you don't want to pay the $49, actually there's, um, Sigma does have a 25% off, um, coupon if you sign up for their emails, which I did, and that's how I was able to get this for $36, but, um, I believe this one's like $16 or $18, um, so this is a really good deal as well, and it's, Pretty comparable check out my video on, on these palettes they're pretty spot on um, okay moving on this BH I mean, I've talked about this a lot but um, the thing about this line just in general the BH line is they have a ton of these destination palettes um, that have completely different color schemes and I feel like a lot of them would be really really great for the spring and summertime. I have this one which I believe is really really good for the spring and summertime as well. The pinks, the browns, this, again the salmons, the like kind of magenta shades, um, just everything you need. These really really bright um, shimmery shades, They're absolutely gorgeous on the eyes. Like. Uh, I can't say enough good things about this one. Um, this is a really good one as well. Like I said, they have more options. If you know, peachy shades aren't your summery vibes. Um, they do have more greens and blues, um, and the other shades more cool tones. Um, 
So, you know, just check out your options. But this line is really, really good. The quality is really good. So I thought I would mention it in this video. But this color story, I think, is the most appropriate for this time of year. But, you know, that's my opinion. That's what I like during this time. I'm sure um, you have other options on their website, too. Formula is great, though. Now, <laughs> next is this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills and Jackie Aina collab. Just look at these colors. Oh, my goodness. Look at those bright, beautiful pinks and the red and these like neutral golds and champagnes and oh my goodness, this green over here. Oh my gosh, this I'm so excited for this palette this season. Like I am just so excited, so beautiful. I cannot wait to get into these colors. I think I'm most excited about this one. I don't think I would normally go for this color, but something about it is pulling me in, and I cannot wait to bring this one out during this this time of year. I'm very redundant, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am super redundant. Now, <clears throat> another small variety. Um, this Gold Rush palette by Profusion. This one is newer. Um, I do really, um, I haven't used this one, but I have used other Profusion palettes and I their formula is very, very consistent from what I have used. Um, but this color story is sort of, sort of more um, spring and summertime. Um, I haven't used it yet because of that, but I will be dipping into this one. I'm super excited about these like mustardy shades down here. Um, they do their bronze pretty well. I love that half of it's kind of like really bright yellows and golds, and the other ones are kind of more useful everyday browns and bronze shades. So again, very, very good for this time of year if you're into yellows and kind of golds like that. Um, <clears throat> Another one is this Nude Bliss, this one's also new. It's um, a really good um, ABH and Norvina palette dupe. Um, it has a, like the same kind of purples and a few of the pinks and those kind of neutral shimmers on top. Just um, more cool tone browns and stuff like that. This is a really good, um, again, consistent formula with Profusion. I love these palettes. Yeah, they're a little bigger, but this is about as big as I would want a palette to be. Any bigger than this, I'm kind of nervous and hesitant about buying because um, I don't tend to reach for palettes bigger than this, but I do reach for these, so if that tells you anything. Um, but yeah, I do, I do think this is the best season for this palette as well. Just the purples, the pinks, you know, the cool tone and warm tone browns. Um, I'm really, really excited about that one. The last profusion palette I want to talk about is the Sienna's. Um, this is again, I wouldn't get all of these. I would probably just get the one that kind of speaks to you the most. Um, out of all of these, this is one that speaks to me the most. It's um, just so pretty. I love the purples, or not the purples, but they're kind of pinky purples right here. Um, the browns are so much warmer and brighter. You got some kind of like um, more orange shades, yellows, you know, these really bright brown, burnt orange, you know, shades are just, just up my alley. They're, just, <laughs> they're my favorite kind of shades. So, and then, you know, you kind of have your necessary transitions and um, there's a really pretty like pink peach shade right there that I'm kind of curious. It looks like a duochrome. It looks like it has a pink gold shift. Is it that one? No, it's this one. Um, you can't tell on camera, it just looks like a true pink on camera, but it looks like it has a gold shift. I'm, I'm kind of excited about that shade um, come the summertime right now. Lastly, I think I think you guys will pick up a trend. <laughs> um, I love peach palettes, so the last one I want to mention is this one by Too Faced. It's a Too Faced Sweet Peach, and you guys probably already know what this looks like. It's just a very, um, you know, neutral peach palette. What I do like about this one is it doesn't have a lot of peach shades. It's more of a, a really neutral peach palette. Um, yeah, you have a couple of peach shades, but honestly, this is more of a neutral, everyday um, palette. So out of all of the peach palettes that I talked about, this one's probably the more universal, really good for all year long. So, But it does have your warmer, brighter shades for the spring and summertime. And that is it. <laughs> we got through that one kind of quick. So yeah, those are kind of the palettes I'll be bringing out for the spring and summertime to kind of um, use during that time for the bright, the brighter colors. And honestly, the, uh, the formulas really well and all of those that I mentioned, I kind of made sure that um, I was recommending both color stories and um, quality that I have uh, personally found to be very, very well and easy to perform. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. And thanks for watching. I love you guys. Bye.